Here in Washington, Iraq has become something of a forgotten battleground. But we decided to look into it this week when an online video caught our eyes. They're protecting our freedoms. This video shows a deployment ceremony this week for dozens of members of the National Guard en route to a new tour of duty in Iraq. We didn't know that type of thing was happening anymore, so we checked and found the Pentagon plans on keeping 50,000 U.S. troops in Iraq through at least New Year's Eve 2011, including a recent tour of duty there by a group of Texans, the 1st Brigade Combat Team, 1st Armored Division from Fort Bliss, which saw a 12-month stint inside Iraq's borders. Though the war is officially over, America has begun new training missions in both Iraq and Afghanistan, missions that pose dangers, soldiers tell us. This is not an obtuse concept. This is them having to make life and death decisions on a daily basis, which, which their reality is, is very harsh. And so when you compile that with this is, they've been doing this for years, there's no end in sight. Uh, you've got to consider what they're going through mentally. In official military language, local troops in Iraq are there to advise and assist Iraqi troops only, training them to rebuild cities and man border checkpoints near Iran. By phone, we spoke with Army Major Christopher Adams, who just days ago signed over control of a border post from the U.S. to the Iraqi military. You, you're always vigilant and always secure, but at the same time, you know, the events and you know, things going on are significantly less than before which I think says a lot for the hard work and you know, the progress that the security forces have made. Scott McFarlane for Statesman.com.